This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by lynda.com. What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the episode of Rentinger's Rants. It's the show where I rant and rave on something that is pissing me off. Up this week, it's me. I'm pissing me off. I'm gonna talk about my perspective on technology and how it has warped my brain. This is Rentinger's Rants. Let's go ahead and get started. So last week I got a little introspective. Our own Brandon Russell wrote a post on the Moto X that got me thinking. In the post he said, listen, a lot of times it's not just about the specs of a phone, it's about what the phone can do for you, whether it's got two cores, four cores, as long as it performs the duties that you need, it's a good phone. That kind of got me thinking about my perspective on phones and tablets in general. Since I do this for a living and I get an opportunity and the privilege to take a look at a ton of phones and tablets, I get crazy, crazy jaded. You know, I look at a device, you know, I've got the Galaxy Note 2 in front of me, or pick any phone or tablet to come out over the past few years, and you could access the complete depth of the world's knowledge on a tiny screen anywhere you are. That is an absolutely incredible achievement of humankind. And I forget that when I look at a tablet, I'm like, eh, the screen's 720p and it doesn't have eight cores, it sucks. You know, and I, I forget what the phones can actually do. It's absolutely incredible. So sure, it might not give me everything in the world, you know, lightning fast, but it still gives me everything. And it's just a matter of perspective. So I started looking at some of my older devices and thinking, could I still use this? I picked up the old Motorola Atrix, a phone that came out, I think, about a year and a half ago, the original uh, Atrix. And by all means, it was still a very quick device. And it worked. It loaded websites, able to scroll, I could put email in it, but it wasn't crazy fast. I wasn't getting information right away, and it sort of, I thought it was fostered an entitled, almost tech generation. I am certainly part of that. I feel entitled to fast data. I feel entitled to a 1080p screen. I feel entitled to be connected anywhere I go, to view videos anywhere I am. It's just sort of the way the world is going. And I want to sort of step back and say, you know what, what these phones can do, regardless of how many cores they have, regardless of when I signed a contract, is still an incredible device. It's still an awesome tablet. It might not be the crazy fast thing in the world, but I can still get all the information that I want out of it. And it kind of helped change my perspective on things. And I really appreciate that sort of that refresh uh, on stuff. So I thought I would share it with you guys. Think about your phone or your tablet as you look at it and maybe you're coming to the end of your contract and you're like, oh, I hate this. I can't wait to upgrade. My iPhone 3G is the slowest thing in the world. I want to throw it against the wall. Think about what that device can do. Uh, logically, what it's capable of running, what it can handle and how it changes your life and makes your life better, sometimes worse. And put it into perspective. And I've tried to take that approach with a lot of things uh, in my life. You know, I feel like I need a bigger, faster car, or bigger, you know, house or more things, more things. And I realize the things don't always matter as much as you might think. These things can access just anything in the world. You can look up how many species of mountain goat live on the plains in Northern Africa. And you can get that information in under 10 seconds. It is ridiculous and incredible. And I feel honored to live in a generation that has access to the information. And that's really the point of the video. And it's really, I wanted to rant on myself getting so upset and mad. It wasn't the best and the biggest and it was the fastest thing in the world. Uh, it's still very serviceable and works really well. And I guess you could say that about me. I'm not the biggest, I'm the fastest in the world, but I'm still serviceable, I still work. Let me step aside from the rants for a minute to thank our friends at lynda.com. You can learn it at lynda.com. It's an online learning company with more than 77,000 video tutorials that teach all kinds of awesomeness like software, creative and business skills, and really anything that you wanna do, Lynda's got the answer for you. Membership is super cheap, starting at 25 bucks per month and provides unlimited 24 seven access to top quality video courses taught by expert instructors with real world experience and not just some dude in a basement. Learn anywhere, anytime, and most importantly, at your own pace from little bite-sized tasty tutorials to really comprehensive courses in anything from web design, programming design, photography, business, audio and video, 3D and animation, anything you've thought that you might wanna do, this is a great place to learn. With new courses added pretty much every week, the training library keeps pace with today's fast changing technical and software skill set. Learn on the go with their optimized mobile site or free iPhone and iPad app for members. Give it a shot. You guys might really like it. Try lynda.com free for seven days by visiting lynda.com slash techno buffalo. That's L-Y-N-D-A dot com slash techno buffalo. So I hope I can help you guys as well. Maybe I'm way off base. Maybe I'm too preachy. Uh, maybe I'm too introspective this week, but I want to hear your thoughts. Do you agree? Disagree? You can tell me I'm wrong. I welcome that. Please give the video a thumbs up, though. We really appreciate it. Uh, thank you guys for watching this episode of Rettinger's Rants. Check us out at technobuffalo.com for latest and greatest tech news. Until next time, I'm John Rettinger. See you next video.
What's up guys, it's John again. Just wanted to let you know that if you liked what you saw, I hope you did, we've got two other shows that go live every single week. Come rain, shine, sleet, or snow. Ask the Buffalo, where Ashley Escada answers your tech questions and a rumor roundup where yours truly tells you about all the best rumors in the gadget world. Click the text below that says subscribe and check out our other shows by clicking right over here. Till next video, thanks for watching.